Genghis Khan is considered to be the most dangerous and the most successful conqueror of all times. The legacy he created lasted for centuries. His tribe, the Mongols, continued to be a dominant force in the world and was most feared of all, virtually unstoppable, until they met their match. The legend says whenever the horses refused to drink water, they had seen Zafar Khan. His real name was Hizrabuddin, better known as Zafar Khan. Zafar Khan was a general of the Delhi Sultanate, ruler Alauddin Khalji, the muscle of the great Sultan who led the army from Gara to Delhi after Alauddin assassinated his predecessor Jalaluddin. He played a major part in Alauddin Khalji's succession. After Alauddin assumed power, Zafar Khan led the forces to Multan, defeating and eliminating the surviving members of Jalaluddin's family. But his major accomplishment was the way he protected the empire from the incursions of the notorious Mongols. Mongols believed in surprise attack, traveling in lightning speed, attacking the enemy at a time when they least suspected an assault, retreating and then coming again, catching the enemy off guard and breaking their formations was part of Mongol battle strategy. They had conquered biggest of empires and had defeated colossal armies by utilizing this very tactic. But this didn't work with the legendary mind Zafar Khan. Duwa, the ruler of the Mongol Changtai, sent a huge expedition of one lakh strong force to the Delhi Sultanate. The Mongols in the trademark style were quick to enter the Sultanate and caused havoc. The moment the news reached to Laudin Khalji, he sent Zafar Khan and his brother to counter the Mongol advance. The generals marched at lightning speed just like the Mongols and caught them off guard at Jaran Manjar. Mongols were slaughtered left, right and center. Around 20,000 Mongols were killed, others were taken as prisoners. But this was not the only time he defeated the Mongols as few years later they attacked again. The Mongols were not just great warriors but also had a very effective espionage network. The moment they got to know that a major force of Alauddin's army is in Gujarat in a battle, they immediately launched an attack and captured the Sindh region. Zafar Khan was the only one present as the governor of Samana. With a small army and without any siege weapons, he defeated the invading Mongols and brought them as prisoners to Delhi. But all good things come to an end. In Battle of Kili, another Mongol invasion by Changtai Mongols into India, Zafar Khan in a battle frenzy disobeyed the Sultan, Alauddin Khalji, and charged at the Mongols. The tactical Mongols feigned retreat, tricking Zafar Khan into an isolated location. With no infantry backup and only 1,000 horsemen, Zafar Khan was surrounded by a massive army. In a do-or-die battle, Zafar Khan and his cavalry chose to fight and attack Mongols, killing more than 5,000 soldiers in the battle, losing only 800 themselves. However, Zafar Khan was killed in the battle with an arrow piercing his heart. But his courageous assault wounded the prince of Changtai Mongols, Kutluk Khwaja, thus forcing the massive army to retreat without any further action on the battlefield. The political thinker of the Delhi Sultanate Barani states that the Mongols retreated because of the terror that Zafar Khan's attack had caused among them. According to him, whenever their horses refused to drink water, the Mongols would ask them if they had seen Zafar Khan. If you like watching this video, do not forget to like this video and subscribe this channel.